Canva just released 10 new updates and honestly, they're amazing. And I just want to show you really, really quick. We'll go through each of them. These are so freaking cool. I, <laughs> Canva could definitely raise the price on their tool now that they, that they have all this, but it is so freaking awesome. If you're already a Canva Pro member, you're gonna love this. Let's get into my computer and go through them one by one. I'm so excited. So if you log into Canva, you'll see these new things. So let's go ahead and just click on them, see what happens. Or the brand hub. Discover Translate. Magic Right Now works everywhere. Magic Eraser. Phone Call. Decline. Draw. Then we've got Magic Design. We'll go through them each in more detail, obviously. Animations. Uh, this one is not the same as the animations we've always had. This is custom. You can actually draw lines to where the things are gonna move. I'll show you in a second. Edit with Beat Sync. So this is the first time Canva's really done much with sound at all. So this is actually helping uh, sync up audio that we upload with the videos that we have. So we'll see how that works. And then text to image, they've had that. I made a video on that a couple months ago and I, I still don't think a lot of people know it exists. They do a good job or a bad job, however you wanna see it, of not uh, <laughs> showing everything that they offer. I think maybe it wasn't available to everybody at first so they didn't wanna like overload the servers. But Canva has had their own version of like mid journey stable diffusion inside of Canva for a while now. And it's okay, it's not as good as mid journey, uh, but it's, it is pretty good and, and supposedly this is now uh, a lot better. So let's demo each of them really quick. So the brand hub, if you're not using the brand hub, definitely start doing that. It's a great way to keep all of your assets organized. If you come in here, you can do a whole bunch of stuff like have your logos, your colors, your fonts, keep your typography the same across all of your different social accounts. And now you can add photos, graphics, and icons. And there's a couple of other features. Uh, if you've been using the brand kit, you'll notice the changes. There's some things that have changed about how we share stuff, what we can share. Check that out, Brand Hub, it's really cool, but definitely start using it if you haven't already been using it. Next, Translate, that one's very straightforward. I don't wanna spend a bunch of time on that. Just use the example. All you do is you find your text, come down here, bottom left, translate, choose your language, choose which page you want to translate. If you have multiple, you just select more. And then boom, translates all the text on that design into whatever language you chose. Very cool. Not something I really am going to be using, but cool. One thing to notice though, is it looks like it's capping this at about 500 uses per month. So mine looks like it's resetting exactly a month from today. I think one use is just one design and it doesn't count however many specific pieces of text were actually changed, but I'm not 100% sure. But from what I've seen, that's what it seems to be. All right, this one is, is pretty sweet, Magic Write. Magic Write was a feature that used to only be available on Canva Docs, which is an awesome tool, but now it's available on everything. So on Docs, we would do something like this, backslash Magic Write, Tell me about Magic Write. Click enter. Magic Write is a feature that can be found in some writing software and tools. It uses artificial intelligence. And blah, blah, blah. Okay. So what we can do now is use this to create any sort of design we want. So let's just pick one here. Let's pretend that we are making a baseball lineup. So I want it to look like a poster. All right, so obviously the design is terrible, but we can use that technology in here. If you have an extension like Merlin or something that already uses ChatGPT on top of this, you might not care so much about it, but it's nice to have. This one is sweet, Magic Edit and Eraser. Canva just slowly over time replaces every other tool that we seem to, to use. So it replaced most of the background removal tools and now it's gonna replace all of the selective erasing apps that I've been using. So uh, I'll show you what that does. You click on try it out we're able now to remove things that were uh, in the background. So that I have this image and for some reason we found out that Bob Ross has been canceled and I'm associating with him would not be good. So what I could do is come here, come to edit photo, magic eraser, just brush over the image. You have to hold the left click button. Sad little strokes here. All 
So it took a little bit of work, but it removed it. So that's pretty sweet. And then there's also the magic edit, which allow us to actually change things as opposed to just removing them. So let's go ahead and select all of the image again. Continue. Let's go. <laughs> all right, all right, moving on. So that is probably my favorite change of everything that they've done. Next, magic presentations. Say, doing a presentation on all meat diet pros and cons. I have no stance on an all meat diet, not on one. And it literally makes these presentations for you, which is crazy. It's just like that. There's a tool that does this already. I think it's called, I don't know how to pronounce it. T-H-O-M-E, Tome. Uh, it is a really neat tool that can create PowerPoints, but they just got a pretty serious blow with uh, Canva's new editing feature here. So then you can, obviously you're not going to use all that verbatim, but it gives you a nice start, right? You can come in here and add stuff. And if I wanted to add uh, an image, I could. Let's do the other feature here while we're in it, the draw feature. It's pretty straightforward, but now we can just literally select draw things. We can add, we can grab them after we draw them. We can resize them. So that's cool. I like that a lot. Uh, I like this highlighting feature. Pretty cool. You can do other stuff here. We've got the Sharpie. This is probably sweet on iPad. I imagine that they added this on the iPad. You can change the, the weight. Pretty cool. All right, four more. Magic design. This one is a good place if you're kind of having like a creative rut and you need some inspiration. You just upload an image and then it puts that image into a whole bunch of other designs. This one's not like crazy innovative to me, but it, it was kind of cool. So here's one I made. I uploaded this thumbnail. It's actually just an image that I made in mid journey and I uploaded it here. And what it did, I would just, let's just do it from scratch. You just insert your media. You can choose from your existing files. Right, and it's gonna give you a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of it is going to look nonsensical, right? Because of the dark on dark text doesn't show up, but you can come up here and do a lot of stuff. You can change it and then see the results immediately. You can change the style and you can change the headline. So I don't think this feature is perfect. If you see something that kind of, that you do like, like let's say this Instagram post, I mean that, Kind of, I could see that maybe customized template. I could say I mean that's not great, but play with it. It's a thing. Alright, but let's go to some features that I think are, are a little bit cooler. Create an animation. This one is fun. I don't know right off the top of my head how you're gonna use it. For me, multiple times I've had things where I would have liked this. Uh, but I can see some people doing a lot of really cool stuff with this if they're if they're smart with it Typically if I want to add animations to things I have to do it inside of my video editing software But now we can give elements in Canva their own custom path Typically we could only go in or out and do different types of animations But now we can change exactly how it moves. Let's just use their example here. So come to animate create an animation and now we can decide the path for the B to go on so in their little example it's doing like Spin wheels, sitting, 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 and then let's have them go up here and then take off, All right? So that's cool. Uh, but what we can do, we can change it to make it smooth. So here's a smooth B or steady. I think it's a little more balanced. And then we can also speed them up. Go. Slow them down, that's a bumblebee. And then we can orient element to path. That one starts getting really crazy with the B especially. There's a lot of things you can do with that. Go have fun with it. Pretty cool, I think. 
text to image. So this is basically like mid journey, but built inside of Canva. So I made a video several months back and the results weren't amazing. I think I was a little bit overexcited because they were results and they were something. Uh, but having seen a lot from mid journey since then, it's kind of, you know, the bar has been raised. So let's see what's cool about this is that I have the same prompts that I used before. So we can actually see what they look like now. Hopefully it's all very similar, uh, just better quality. So let's go ahead and jump in, into this. So the case uses for this are just like endless. I mean, endless, you can do whatever I don't, thumbnails you could do. Uh, Instagram posts, you can do even videos if you just take the image and give it motion. So many things that we can do here. So for this, uh, the video that I had, it was egg frying on the concrete on a busy street. So let's try that. I use their surprise me style. I don't see that here now. So I'm guessing that just none is the same as surprise me. And then let's just keep it square because back when I did it, they only had square. And let's see if the results are any better. The results before were bad. <laughs> These are bad too. <laughs> a giant spoon cooking, cooking an egg. This person's cooking eggs on the ground. This guy's got like a little bit of a ramp going up to cook his eggs. People have got giant egg holes uh, on the street. Not great. <laughs> Let's give it a chance at redemption. Let's try one more. Okay, these are still bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Coming out of the car. <laughs> this car is spraying cheese uh, or just eggs into this egg souffle. And then this is giant egg bowls. These people are lining up trying to get their paint egg soup fun all right hold on now i have to try is mid mid journey mid journey isn't that bad let's let's try this exact same prompt in mid journey i'm sorry Canva, i love you but this is something that y'all need to work on i think if that i was really expecting that this part was going to be rocking all right let's go to the test let's do imagine and yes i am going to use v5 Okay, while we wait for that, let's do the other final thing that I haven't covered, and that is edit with beat sync. So this is one that's only really gonna work if you have multiple clips. So for me to like upload this video as an MP4, the entire edited finished video, it's not really gonna work. So let's do their sample video. And this is gonna be something that's broken down into several clips of varying durations, right? So first clip is two seconds, two seconds, three, two, 2.6, three, one, 2.1, 2.0, and then five. So I'm guessing if this is what I think it is, when you click sync now, it's gonna change the uh, lengths of the clips, which is cool. Uh, and it's going to make it so that they kind of go with the rhythm. So let's see, this is what it looks like at the beginning. Yeah, so if you're like trying to pay attention to it, you can notice it's a little bit it's a little bit off. So if we do sync now, see it changes the durations of the clips. Depending on what it is that you're doing that might that might be able to, to be a thing or not. Sometimes I'll do stuff that has text on it and I really can't mess with the duration because it needs to be there long enough so that people can read it. But let's see what it looks like without with their uh beat. So it should feel more natural. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger A willing and able to do what you want You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a saint now I'm busy and pretty, just making believe I don't know, man. I'm not an expert. I, I'm, but that, that sounded better to me. It looked cool. All right, let's go back to mid journey and see if we're done with my art here. Eggs frying. So I know that I didn't give great descriptions. Mid journeys are a little bit better. Those are clearly eggs. This is not super clear. And this is mid journey V5. So this is where we're at guys with egg rendering technology. 
All right, now there are a couple of features that were not listed down here with the obvious discover the magic from Canva Create. And I'm gonna show you those really quick and then we will be done. All right, so let's start here by just grabbing a template, doesn't matter what it is. Let's just choose one of these. We've always been able to arrange elements, right? But now we can do layers. So layers are something that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, I'm saying that because I struggled with it. And I'm assuming that other people did as well. But now we can actually just click and drag and move things. So let's just bring something in here. Let's say that I have this new, right? And then I want it to be positioned so it shows up behind that, gives it a little bit of depth. So let's go to position, layers. Let's find that layer. Then if I drag it down, it's gonna fall behind, right? So that's just a new way to do that. Before you'd have to right click, go to arrange, bring forward, bring back, bring to front, wherever the element was, right? So that's a cool new feature that'll make things a little bit faster. And then last is the gradient feature. So any element that now that has a color that you can edit, we can make it a gradient now. So let's go ahead and select that. If you click on the color, you'll see the settings little toggle here. You'll now have gradient and you can pick second colors Right? So you can say if you want blue and then you want it to go into yellow, go like that, blue into green, blue into red. So gradients are a lot easier. Before you, I used to come in here and I would type in something like gradient, spell it correctly usually. And then I would just pull it across, but now I can actually do it inside of the background color right here. So I can make my own custom gradients. Pretty cool. Um, right now you can add multiple as well. So if I want to make it a three color or four color or five color gradient, I can. I'm not gonna go beyond two or three, but you can definitely do that now. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully that is valuable to you. I really cannot believe how much better Canva has gotten over the years. Uh, hopefully you guys are Canva Pro members. Definitely if you aren't a pro member, you're gonna miss out on a lot of these cool features. So I'd recommend checking it out. I don't think there's really that many things that I pay for that give me a bigger ROI than Canva. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit subscribe if you want additional videos like this that will help you grow your internet business and become more productive overall. Until next time, see ya.